Introduction the viruses are obligate intracellular parasites so they need a host for their survival uh, a virus is a sub microscopic infectious agent uh, that replicates only inside the living uh, cell of an organism uh, viruses infect all life forms from animals and plants to microorganism including bacteria Uh, they cannot be grown on non living culture media uh, non living culture media or on agar plates alone they require living cell to support their replication virus can viruses can be grown in in vivo and in vitro condition in vivo means uh, the uh, cultivation of viruses within a whole living organism uh, example plants or animal in vitro means uh, the cultivation of viruses uh, outside a living organism in cell uh, in an artificial artificial environment like test tube uh, or uh, tissue culture purpose of cultivation to isolate and identify a virus in clinical sample to prepare virus uh, to prepare viruses for vaccine production and to do research on viral structure Uh, and genetics and effects on host cell the the methods of virus cultivation mainly the three methods are the method uh, animal inoculation embryonated egg culture and cell culture in cell culture uh, there are three types cell line culture explant culture Uh, organ culture uh, in cell line culture there are uh, three sub types primary cell line semi continuous cell line and continuous cell line the first method is animal inoculation viruses which are not cultivated in embryonated egg and tissue culture uh, are cultivated in uh, laboratory animals such as mice pig hamster uh, rabbits and primates uh, in laboratory animals play an, imp- uh, an essential role in studies of viral pathogenesis uh, the firstly the virus sample to be cultivated should inject into a experimental animal uh, the uh, it is important to it is important to select specific host animal for a particular viruses the selected animal should be healthy and free from any communicable diseases here uh, mice are the most widely employed animal for uh, cultivation of virus uh, the it can be inoculated by routes like uh, intracerebral inoculation subcutaneous inoculation intraperitoneal or intranasal inoculation uh, intracerebral inoculation means the inoculation of a uh, virus sample in a uh, host head part the subcutaneous inoculation means the inoculation of uh, uh, viral sample in uh, skin intra intraperitoneal inoculation means the inoculation of a virus in whole uh, my body cavity of host and uh, intranasal inoculation means the inoculation of virus in uh, nose part of the animal after the animal is inoculated with the with the virus suspension the animal is observed for signs of diseases visible lesions means the pox uh, visible lesions are observed or is killed so that in fact tissue advantage and disadvantages of animal inoculation advantages is same symptoms are can be determined uh, the production of anti antibodies can be identified using this uh, method the primary isolation of certain viruses 
disadvantages uh, it is expensive and difficult to maintenance of animals uh, difficult in choosing of animal for particular viruses uh, some human viruses cannot not be grown in animals or can be grown but do not cause disease the egg Created hence egg for the cultivation of viruses. Uh, the process of cultivation of viruses in a embryonated egg depends on the uh, type of egg we used. the the chick embryo should be uh, we use seven to twelve days old while inoculation with viruses. The procedure how to inoculate the shell, the shell surface is first disinfected with iodine because the interference of microbes then uh, penetrated with a small sterile drill then the virus is inoculated after the incubation the opening is sealed with gelatin or paraffin and then incubated at 36 degree celsius for 2 to 3 days after the incubation the egg is broken and virus is isolated from uh, from tissue egg the viral growth and uh, and multiplication in the egg uh, is can be indicated by the death of embryo or uh, cell embryo cell damage or by the formation of typical pox means the formation of lesions on the on egg membrane the virus can be uh, cultivated in various parts of egg like uh, coriolanthoic membrane here is the coriolanthoic membrane and uh, allantoic cavity amniotic sac and uh, um, and uh, yolk sac the first uh, the first route is uh, coriolanthoic membrane here uh, inoculation is mainly growing for pox virus and herpes simplex virus after the uh, here after the incubation uh, the visible lesions called pox can be seen uh, can be observed this method is suitable for pox studies the second route is allantoic cavity here the inoculation is uh, here the inoculation is made done for production of vaccine uh, influenza virus yellow fever rab rabies virus uh, in this method most uh, of avian viruses can be isolated using this method in amniotic sac in amniotic sac the the inoculation is mainly for primary isolation of influenza virus primary primary isolation of influenza virus and mumps virus this method is useful for detection of heme agglutination assay uh, heme agglutination as it is a serological method of mainly for uh, identify a suspected virus and the last route is yolk sac it is a simplest method for growth and multiplication multiplication of viruses uh, it uh, in main viruses immune interference mechanism can be detected detected by using uh, this method and due to advantages and disadvantages of embryonated egg advantages widely used method for isolation of viruses and growth ideal substrate for the viral growth and replication uh, isolation and cultivation of many avian virus and few mammalian viruses uh, and the uh, the method cost effective and maintenance is much easier less labor is needed disadvantages uh, the site of inoculation for uh, have a different sites for their growth and replication the last method is, is tissue culture 
cell uh, cell culture tissue culture or cell culture cell culture is the process the cell are grown under the controlled condition means uh, the cells are grow in in vitro means on on glass or treated with plastic surfaces in a suitable growth medium at first uh, the growth medium is usually balanced with salt sugar uh, proteins uh, antibiotics and ph phenol red and uh, then the host is uh, then the cell is inoculated after incubation the cell is divided and spread out on the glass surface to form a confluent mono layer means to form a single layer Uh, there are the three types of tissue culture organ culture explant culture and cell culture organ culture are mainly you done for highly specialized parasite of a specific organs for example tracheal ring culture is done for the isolation of corona virus uh, explant culture is rarely used used uh, the cell culture is mainly used for identification and cu uh, uh, cultivation of viruses based on the origin and chromosome properties uh, the tissue culture is ca classified into three types uh, primary cell culture uh, diploid uh, cell culture continuous cell culture in primary cell culture for example is chick embryo uh, and um, uh, or uh, monkey kidney in primary cell culture This, this are no, here the normal cell freshly taken from animal or human body the the able to grow only for limited time and uh, it can cannot be maintained in serial dilution hence the, this method is useful for the uh, primary isolation of viruses and vaccine production Uh, in diploid cell culture example is uh, human embryon embryonic lung stain here uh, uh, here the contain uh, same number of chromosome they are subcultured up to 50 times by serial transfer uh, this method is uh, you, this method is useful for isolation of some fastidious viruses and also the production of viral vaccine the last method is a continuous cell line uh, example is human carcinoma of cervix cell line uh, and baby hamster kidney cell line in uh, in continuous cell lines uh, they are derived from a cancerous cell uh, they can be serially cultured and also they can be maintained either by serial culture or uh, it can be stored uh, deep freeze at 70 degree celsius mm. due to due to derivation from cancerous cell they are uh, not used uh, useful for the vaccine production and uh, advantages and disadvantage of cell culture advantages uh, relative easy broad spectrum cheaper and sensitivity disadvantages the process requires trained techni technicians with experience in working on a full time basis uh, state health laboratories laboratories and hospital laboratories do not isolate and identify uh, this viruses in clinical uh, work tissue or serum for analysis is sent to a central laboratories to identify virus the conclusion uh, culturing uh, culturing viruses is an essential technique in virology and that allows to study the structure behavior and characteristics of viruses uh, uh, there are several methods like uh, cell culture uh, embryonated eggs and tissue culture and also each method has its advantages and disadvantages thank you thank you simran for your presentation